Ty, you know these two men very well. The uh, Firestar Pro Wrestling Academy trains, works out several times a week right here in this arena. Every day these guys are here, some in Greensboro, training, honing on their craft. This happens to be Grant Watts' professional wrestling debut. Look, look at this, just flying out the grate, just, just fast. Huge pinfall here, but these guys know each other very well. They train with each other every day. And this right here is actually so fly many lows. Fifth match in professional wrestling. So like you said, these guys are very young, very, very new to the game. Yeah, it's interesting that you say that, Ty. This has uh, been the match or fight that we've seen. This is the fourth one, and this one has more of a pro wrestling feel than the previous three. I wonder if that has to do with these two young men being so young in their pro wrestling journeys, uh, maybe not quite as uh, quick to acclimate to this new set of rules. We've been talking about that all day. Yeah, they, yeah. The, not having the uh, the item in their Rolodex. Mm -hmm. I realize that just dated me, but it's, I've no, been I, using it for no, 20 plus years. <laughs> I understood it. It's okay. There's probably, but, there's probably a Rolodex app for these kids or something, probably. I need to start saying database. Yeah, database. Mm -hmm. no, no, no pads on their phone, whatever. These guys... Just straight, like you, like you said, they only have two. They, um, they've been training for six months, both of them. Six months experience here. Oh, into the bridge. No, could not okay. hold him on the bridge. I was about to be impressed. <laughs> I mean, the yeah. arms folded. Everything, no hands. Look, my no hands. I like the very uh, sort of Japanese young lion look on both these men. Just the plain black trunks, plain black boots. You know, you, you sort of uh, almost, in, in that school of thought, Josh, you almost sort of graduate uh, into being able to put more uh, emphasis and touches on your presentation. Yeah, it, it's it, ring of sport. This is what it is. It's sports-centric. There's finite rules and no flash. Uh, you know, little substance outside the actual wrestling action. And so it makes them focus and pay more attention to what they're doing in between those ropes. Look, whoa, we got some. Whoa, wow, whoa, look at this. Look Good at technique this. there. Look at this. Good technique there wow. from Watts. He just wiggled free. And the crowd just came alive for that. Look, hey. I'll go ahead and say that. That was pretty fly. That, that was. That was, no, but I'm so, so fly, just stepping out of bounds. He's got to familiarize himself with these rules here. He's got to get back in play in the fight. This is not his, his corner man. Yeah, this is not traditional pro wrestling where you can really manipulate that referee's count. That referee's count is firm. It's coming whether you're ready or not in these uh, ring of sport rules. Whoa. I'm surprised I didn't make a pun there, Brad. I really am. I, as it was leaving my lips, I was like, I'm setting him up here. But you did. I'm <laughs> proud of you. You're showing growth here. Oh, hey, already? Wow, first round. Whoa. Well, look, time flies when you're having fun and. Uh, you know, I know these these round formats make it tough for these competitors because, you know, we were talking about it earlier, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes is an eternity when you're hot, sweaty, gasping for air. But, you know, us sitting here talking about it, it makes our job easy. Yeah, I, I, I name dropped Trevor Lee earlier in the broadcast. I got to spend a lot of time with him uh, in his formative years and then later on. And, and Trevor would run these, these marathon training camps, like three, four, five hours of just grinding guys into the mat. Literally, in the course of about 15 years, I got in there once just to see what it was like. And it brutal. And, and just to your point, though, Josh, just a couple of minutes uh, uh, can be excruciating in that setting and can feel like forever. Yeah, you're still trying to catch your breath. Yeah. Well, being in here tonight, too, yeah, with all this talent, it's real easy to just lose track of things that are going on here. Cradle, Get shoulders wow. down, could not hold him. I tell you what, both these young Lions have brought a lot of support here tonight. Very, uh, very Electric atmosphere here for both oh, yes. these young men who are early in their careers. Nice. Cradle, can he hold him? Both men wow. have both men have had trouble. Oh! oh! He just decked him. I was gonna say both men evenly matched physically. Both men, Josh, have had trouble holding the other man down for any length of time. Yeah, one of the things I want to talk about that referee has the best seat in the house to see if that was an elbow strike, not a closed fist, which is illegal. SoFly has really has the experience advantage here. Well, he's holding him too. Oh wow! And the strength advantage. Cover, and and to your point, Ty and, and uh, Josh, I want you to hone in on this. 
you, you train pro wrestlers, you coach pro wrestlers. How big of an experience advantage is it to have even five matches under your belt compared to literally being in your first pro match? It's yeah, huge. You, you can train for several years and think you have all the tools that you need to be successful, and all that gets thrown out of the window within the first couple minutes of your first pro match. Uh, five of those, five times the advantage, I guess? Yeah. Well, like you said, it's just oh. a whole. Hey, I go. Look, my no hands. Trapped him hey. and got, got him. Got him. First fall. Got him. Look at it. Look at the face of. Oh wow. Look, mom, no hands. Successful. Classic pro wrestling there from Grant Watts. Uh, very similar to the old Danny Hodge roll up. The old Oklahoma roll had the bridge on it. Very classic pro wrestling here. Got these cornermen here. More students from the Firestar Pro Wrestling Academy, correct? Yes. On the corner of SoFly Manny Low, we have Cyber and Fire of No Joke and Just Chris Young. And over here on Grant Watt's side, we have backstage interviewer, actually, Brian Cornflakes, the son of legendary Firestar commentator David Cornflakes. What? Yes. You have been doing your journalistic yes. homework, Ty Lang. Yes, I have. So yeah, so they've got these guys got some good good corner men out here. Manny Lowe with the short arm scissor, a great a great old school tactic yes. that you don't see very often. Yeah, we actually had a student not too long ago say, "I look at that and it doesn't look painful. Can you show me how it's done?" <laughs> Five seconds in, he's like, "Okay, I get it now." <laughs> Watch trying to manipulate the shoulders down. And that's the thing about So Fly is he patterns as he looks at a lot of uh, old Japanese wrestlers in the 90s and, and he follows a lot of old wrestling that he's trying to look for old tactics, old holds. I keep saying the word old, but, you know, a lot of, I mean, like a lot of things that you don't see nowadays and he right. wants to bring those back because a lot of these younger talent don't really know how that kind of stuff works. Mm. Trying to get that advantage right here. Strong body-to-body so -body contact on that elbow. They, he looks at a lot of old Japan, not so much new Japan. Oh. Yes. Okay. You redeemed yourself on that one. <laughs> mm, they are throwing yep. elbows. Yeah. But again, no close fists. Woo, headbutt. Hey, okay. Headbutt's mm, a little questionable. I, yeah. You see Mike Goga stepping in there. Hey. Okay. He said he, He's he said admonishing I, him. Yeah, he said, I will not I, I will not tell you again. Well, mm, oh, a mighty. Oh, I don't think they're listening to him. No, they are not. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Grant falling down, though, but uh, uh, right. SoFly leaning on the ropes. Yeah, the ropes are holding him up, and that, yeah. that could be the difference Look, here. I'll go ahead and tell you, Grant, with that outstretched arm, that is an indicator of some possible loss of consciousness. Yeah, this, you give me it's all, you know, it's bone and stuff, but, you know, the brain rattles around in there, and that knocks that knocks you, you know, that makes you loopy and dizzy. Your equilibrium, like especially in this hot climate in here, just makes it that much worse. Oh, oh, oh. Manny Lowe for the win. Sit out, powerbomb, dead center of the ring. Oh. Got him. We are tied up at one fall apiece, boys. Uh, yeah, it's just like a pickled egg in a jar. It can get damaged, that's for sure. And I think that that is definitely what happened there, and SoFly was able to pick up the... Uh, fall there so the next fall will win the matchup or a potential knockout or technical knockout as always mm. will win the matchup Look, that, that pure death. heart he's he's reeling guys he yeah, is reeling. yeah watts watts is taking a long time Brian. watts is taking a long time to regain his composure in the corner he has Brian. got to he's got to answer the bell he's got to fight ty yeah definitely brian cornflake is trying to give him some advice showing him telling him what he needs to do to get back in this but like you said, you know, failure to answer the, the bell, very, very, pretty much the same thing as failure to answer the referee's commands. I mean, You've got to be in the fight. Definitely, like he could, if he was to stand there, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have behooved me to let, like, so fly Manny Lowe could have just charged him because the bell's wrong. You're ready to go. Yeah, got to go. We've talked all night about how these ring of sport rules. You cannot manipulate the clock like you can in traditional pro wrestling. And that good is what a good corner man. Yes, sir. yes, positively. Yes. yes. He is raising the, the energy level in this room. The crowd loving it. Both of these young competitors brought a lot of people here to see him fight tonight, and neither person wants to let their support system down. Boy, boy he just grounded him. Man, he just grounded yeah. him. All that, and that's a great veteran move. That's a great veteran move for somebody that's only had five or six matches under their belt. Manny Lowe just put a halt to all that energy that had been created in the room. 
Slow oh. it down. Shut it down. Mm. That's it. Well, that's a tight arm bar. Look at that. And he's putting all that weight on him, too. He's just looking around. He's like, I know I've got you right here. You're not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, when you're trying to get every bit of uh, molecule of oxygen you can, having your face shoved into that canvas will definitely put some pumping some brakes on that. That's a gorgeous arm bar, Ty. That will separate your shoulder. Yeah, Definitely. Watts has got to get back up to a vertical base and alleviate some of that pressure. Breaks it with a strike and, oh! Cradle got nothing. Victory roll. Mm. Yeah, he tried roll. that earlier. Right into the cover. No. I want to say both officials have been on the money all night tonight in yes. every one of these fights. We've talked about the uh, competitors, the fighters, having to acclimate themselves to a brand new set of rules. Uh, this is venturing into uncharted territory for the officials as well. Oh, yeah, but I wouldn't put it past, like, like you said, they acclimate real well. This is why we, uh, we only have the best referees here at Firestar Pro Wrestling. No, two so the, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's nothing on them, nothing two, for them. Two of the best in the game here with us this afternoon in Kevin Pierce and Mike Goga. Big Mike Goga. you got to remember that Big Mike. Big Mike? Yes, what? Big Mike. You see, the, the, last, the last Big Mike I know, it didn't work out that well for him. So Who's Little Mike? Oh, there's no Little Mike. It's just Big Mike. Who, uh, who's Little Mike? The one-eyed thing from Monster Zinc. Mm. Right? Mike with one eye. Mike Wazowski. Wazowski? With one eye. I don't know, he's got a big uh, mic's got Watts, some muscle on him. He's Watts, on dream speed. Watts is uh -oh. struggling. Hey, snap. And Watts has really struggled in this round. He's holding that arm, man. He's been working that so fly been working that arm. He has only got seconds remaining if he can hold on, but he cannot go to the ropes to save himself. Did he get to his feet? Standing nine. He's got to get his hands up. Yeah. Oh, saved by the bell. Yeah, Look, absolutely. Grant, still going. I don't saved by the bell, but he, he, I don't think he might have heard it. And I, and I look, he was still reaching. And I want to say, I, I want to, uh, I, for lack of a, of a more articulate term, I want to put Manny Low over right there. You saw him after the bell sounded. He looked down at the man, and you could almost see the wheels turning, thinking about a cheap shot, and he did not take it. <laughs> yeah. You could almost see the wheels turning, and he did not take the cheap shot. He wants to win this thing on the up and up. I think that speaks well to his character. Definitely. Over halfway through this contest here, this fight, five rounds in. Grant need to pull something out. High flying, look at this. Oh, nice. Well, well, he made the most of that break during the rounds. Okay. Because Grant Watts has, has come out with fire in his eyes. I like it. Oh, flying high with a huge form. Oh, cover this could have great. a knockout here. No. Wow. Yeah, definitely made the most of that 30-second break. We're that deep into this contest where the break goes from 15 to 30 seconds, and that, that might have been the breath of fresh air that the pure heart needed. Well, he popped that can of spinach, and he's back in the fight. Oh, oh man, German nice. suplex. He might not be any longer. Okay. No. I got that right. Mm -hmm. Nilo has done an excellent job of manipulating his opponent uh -oh. throughout this contest. Hey, guys, did we just go down to Mexico? Because we're about to surf. Oh man, this hurts so Too bad. Coast. Oh, this and hurts so bad. It really does the knee. Oh, this hurts oh so bad. Oh, oh, the ropes, the, the ropes. ropes. Oh, Goga's oh. not calling for the break into the chicken wing. Into the chicken Almost. wing. Is he gonna tap? Yes, he does. Oh, there it is. Great control of his opponent, gentlemen. Great control of his opponent from the surfboard into the chicken wing and he got the tap. So there we go, the end of that round, a decision. Starts the break, and it looks like oh wow, we're split here. The crowd. Wow. Yeah, to your point, crowd definitely split here, but man, they have really shown a lot of respect for both these young athletes. Hell of a showing from both men, two of the top prospects of the Firestar Pro Wrestling Academy here in Greensboro. Yeah, I don't know many people that win their first outing in professional wrestling. So do not hang your head low, Grant Watts. There will be many more down the road, I'm sure. Look at that, because SoFly just, like he's been there. Look at how quick he just extended the handshake. Heck of a contest, heck of a showcase for the rising stars of the Firestar Academy.